Hey guys, welcome back to another action figure review. Taking another look into Cosmic Legions, a new series of figures by Four Horsemen Studios. Today we're checking out Oleg Thygar, the Valkatar version. On the back, it looks like all of the figures are going to have a checklist printed on here, showing every figure from Series 1 of Cosmic Legions. One of the sides has the character lore of the figure, along with the photo of the character and the affiliation as a white icon next to all the other ones. The other side has the lore of Series 1 or Book 1 of the Prison Valkatar with a few paragraphs of the story so far. The new cardboard box style lets us easily slide out the plastic tray without having to tear open the box. But the accessory tray is taped on pretty heavily onto the sides requiring you to remove the tape first. As a new series of action figures from Four Horsemen Studios, Cosmic Legions focuses on the sci-fi designs and themes. Oleg Thygar finds himself beaten and captured by faceless armored soldiers dragging him to the gates of Valkatar, the infamous prison. Thygar's former life had been seemingly stolen from him, from a betrayal or another unknown reason. Thygar finds himself filled with rage, a key that might lead to his survival or his death in the prison of Valkatar. Even as a surprise to himself, surviving all the fighting in the prison has unlocked abilities in Thygar that he had never thought possible, and is slowly evolving to become something even greater than before. Let's check out his details. The bright blue cracked reptile skin really stands out, with each scale on the head darkening in color to really bring out that detail. A large golden piece of jewelry sits at the center of the forehead, and just as bright as the gold we have the large pair of red eyes surrounded by a black eyeshadow. With his eyebrows sculpted downward and a mouth in a frown, we get an angered expression on his face. Taking a look on the side, we have a better look on how the large oval shaped head is. It has layers of blue scales stacked over each other reaching all the way to the back. We have a better look at the neck here as well, more blue skin with the large scales in a much darker color. On the back we see the neck and shoulder of the spacesuit armor in a gold, blue, and black color pattern with each color being on its own piece of armor. We have a very complicated design here on the chest, filled with a ton of layers of black, gray, and gold plates, each looking like a different muscle on the body. We have a metallic blue trim on the joints of the shoulder and neck with two small gray ports attached to each side of the body. We will be plugging these up later with accessories. Onto the back we can see the rest of the large armor covering up the neck, shoulders, and back of the figure. In more of that blue, gold, and gray color we have small engines layered over each other acting as the spine of the suit. More intricate designs on the shoulder are sculpted with each panel of armor representing a muscle of the bicep. More of that metallic blue was used on some of the panels here giving off a reflective shine. A large black, gray, and gold space age gauntlet cover up the arms with small buttons, panels, and a large port that we will be covering up with accessories. The three fingered hands are covered up in a black glove with small sections of gray armor layered over each finger. A large gray belt buckle sits between two metallic blue pipe sized gadgets on the utility belt of the figure. Next to them we have more sci-fi style pockets and hanging underneath we have a large plate of armor covering the front. The black, gray, and gold plate hang all the way down to the knees with a few details like a large screw at the center, a few small ports, and a symmetrical design. On the side we have more black and gold pockets hanging onto the belt with a large sheet of armor protecting the side of the thighs. A large black and gray blade of armor curves around the thigh with another large gray port at the center. Another small metallic blue pipe finishes up the details on the back of the belt that comes with two additional sockets to equip accessories onto later. Removing the front belt piece reveals a better look at the thighs underneath, a prison style orange jumpsuit, baggy, with detailed wrinkles in a bit of grime effect adding onto the pants making them look dirty. The legs are completely covered in armor, matching the suit's gold, black, and blue design. Lots of gears, panels, and even metallic blue joints can be seen detailed all over the leg. We wrap up the details of the figure with the robotic feet. Black and gray sections of machinery cover up the entire foot with the ankle joint, toes, and heels of the feet painted in that reflective metallic blue paint. Let's see the articulation of the figure. We have a ball jointed head that lets us get some good range of the head. Unlike the necks of Mythic Legions, this one is too big to rotate. Shoulders that open, with the bulky armor here restricting some of the range. Arms that fully rotate, but when opening from this angle, we still get some blockage. 
we have an elbow that bends in slightly, still blocked by the armor, with rotation at the joint. The forearms rotate as well, the joints hidden by the sculpting. We have hands that rotate and bend up and down or side to side depending on what hand is installed. While the waist is on a ball joint, we only get rotation due to how tight this section is. Normally the belt would block a lot of range, but luckily it's made of a very soft plastic moving out of the way. This lets us open up the legs to the max, as well as bend forward and backwards without a problem. The thigh rotation is hidden by the sculpting. We have knees that bend back and rotate. And finish with ankles that bend up and down, rotate, and twist. Cosmic Legions run on the taller end of the 6 inch scale, normally reaching up to 7 inches or larger with a bigger head or accessory. Here we have him next to a Spexian guard, who is already on his own pretty massive. Next to Slog, it almost makes Slog not look like a giant meatball of a character. And we have some standard human sized mythic legions, we can see just how large that added neck and head make the figure stand out. Thygar almost doubles the size of a goblin character. Next to a more normalized 6 inch scale, we have a few Hasbro figures showing off the compatibility of the Cosmic Legions. McFarlane's 7 inch scale works much better with Cosmic Legions, with even the smaller human sized characters actually looking pretty in line when comparing the scales to each other. We have a very finely detailed additional head, Thygar in a space helmet that comes with a removable clear dome as well. To install the head, you simply pop off the old head and socket in the new one. To complement the additional head, we have a suited up version of the neck. And just like the head, you can simply pop off the joint. It's a bit tight and will need a bit of force. Afterwards, you can easily peg in the new neck piece, giving the character a new look. We have a very large space helmet accessory, painted in black and that metallic blue. The dome is able to be removed, with it being snugly tucked into the helmet. Installing the helmet can be a bit tricky, as you'll have to line up these two small bumps in front of the armor to force it to clip it into the head. Afterwards, it's tight enough to stay on its own. One thing to note is that the dome will only fit the default head. We have a pair of trigger finger hands, these bending left to right, and that same pair with the hands bending up and down. We have another pair of the pre-installed default hands that bend up and down. Installing the hands is just like on Mythic Legions, you pop them off and swap in the new pair. We have a nicely detailed painted extra heavy blaster. And here we have it equipped with the default hands. We get a set of four clear pegs that will be used with the weapons that have a socket for them. We get a heavy blaster rifle in a simple gun metal color and a large socket on the side. For the heavy blaster we can use the trigger finger hands. We can use one of the clear pegs to socket easily into the side of the heavy blaster. You can then use the other side of the peg to install it into any available socket. We have a pair of blaster pistols, each mirrored to have their own socket on the opposite sides of each other. And just like the rifle, we can use the clear pegs to socket them into the side. We can then peg the pistol into any of the open ports, with the smaller size letting you even put it in the front. We have a pair of grey wrist blasters, each with their own peg. And just like the clear pegs, they'll install into any port, as long as they share the same size and shape, the only thing that will stop you is the size of the accessory. And lastly, we have a small clear green holograph accessory with some alien text on it. The holograph installs just like any of the other pegs on any socket. Another great figure from Cosmic Legions. As my third character so far into the series, I can honestly say that the paint has been amazing in this series. As we go through the collection, we're starting to see some of the similar body parts used again, mostly in the feet and arms of the figure. But with this level of paint detail, it's very hard to notice at a glance, as with all the details are painted in their own unique ways, it really makes them stand out from each other. The bright, vivid colors of the paint is a nice change of pace as well, 
It brings up a lot of color, but not to look cartoony at all, but rather stylish and refreshing. I can't get over how well detailed the sculpting has become as well, with details like the pants not only having their own large wrinkles in the sculpting, but also a threaded texture effect for the cloth as well. The use of new styles of paint, like that metallic blue, really stands out, giving the small details and trims it's used on pop next to the bright orange and golds being used. We have a fine assortment of weapons this time around, with four total, not counting the little wrist blasters. It's unfortunate that the rifle and pistols only got a coat of metallic grey paint, as they do have a lot of details on them that even something as a simple black wash would have really brought them out. The extra heavy blaster though is a great example how just a few additional colors and a bit of black wash really makes these weapons stand out. Once again we have a massive selection of hands, each with their own style of articulation. I still think it's a bit overkill to have that many hands, but it is useful for a gun holding character like Thygar. The additional head sculpt is what really pushes this figure's value. Not only do we get a suited up version, but an additional neck to go with it that was really a great detail to have, but we have an entire dome accessory as well. We just have so many options to display this figure, or better yet, use on other figures. The cherry on top for me was that green holograph effect. Small accessories like that are my favorite and really bring out the lore and life of these characters. With only a few minor gripes on this figure, like the sloppy paint job here and there, with so many different colors and effects on each piece, it's easy to find one or two mistakes. But that's pretty much the only issue. We do have that standard modular body that we have come to expect out of Mythic Legions, and for a gun holding character, the lack of a double jointed elbow is starting to be noticeable. Olek Thygar is an impressive figure, with everything hitting all the right spots from the amazing sculpting, accessories, additional head and armor, to the amazing paint job. As one of the main characters of the Cosmic Legions, they really did a great job on this figure. The reptile race has been anticipated by the community for a long time, and Thargar is a nice preview into what's to come from Four Horsemen. The sci-fi theme works great, and hopefully we can see a lot more different species pushing the limit with Cosmic Legions. Thargar makes another great entry into the Cosmic Legions line, a quality figure with a unique style and posing value that will definitely stand out in anyone's collection. Alright guys, that's it for this review. Leave a comment letting me know how you like this figure, subscribe, or share this video with your friends to help out the channel.